Hi, this is Cyrus from Pure Lab Vitamins. Today I'd like to talk again about vitamin D. You might think, why is he doing that? It's spring or summer now, and I don't need any vitamin D. But on the background of the pandemic, there is growing evidence that keeping your vitamin D blood levels above a specific level can have significant impact on your body's ability to deal with a potential infection and alter the course of the disease we call COVID-19. Back in January of 2019, so long before the pandemic, we posted a video on vitamin D optimization on our YouTube channel. At the time, we wanted to inform you about how to monitor vitamin D levels in your blood to combat seasonal affective disorder or osteoporosis during the long winter months in Canada. Vitamin D's immune stimulating properties have not really been on our minds at that time. Today, more and more studies surface connecting good vitamin D blood levels with milder courses of COVID-19 in all age groups. One study by Grassroots Health, a non-for-profit organization, they categorized COVID patients based on the severity of symptoms they encountered and then measured vitamin D blood levels in each group of patients. And they were able to show that 98% of those patients with only mild courses of the disease had vitamin D blood levels over 75 nanomoles per liter. Mild in this study was defined as having mild symptoms without even the diagnosis of pneumonia. One other study by the Wiley Group, published in the Journal of Alimentary Pharmacology and Therapeutics, looked at the number of severe cases per capita in countries of the northern and southern hemisphere compared to countries closer to the equator. Testing frequency and volume did not matter in this study because they only looked at the number of acute cases that needed hospitalization or even intensive care. And there was a clear trend. Countries closer to the equator have a lo lower incidence of severe cases of COVID-19 due to better vitamin D levels. So all this said, optimizing your vitamin D levels throughout winter and summer has numerous benefits and should become part of mainstream medicine. The only way to do so is through blood testing. While you take a consistent dose of vitamin D per day for at least two weeks to create steady blood levels. During the winter, we as Canadians practically rely solely on vitamin D by supplementation, while during the summer, we have to factor in the level of sun exposure depending on the average amount of time and skin area spent exposed to sunlight and unprotected by sunscreen. So, Vitamin D tests are not covered by provincial health plans and we have to pay out of pocket. Labs charge between $35 and $45, but I believe in today's pandemic world, this is money well spent. Because it's not covered, it shouldn't be a problem to ask your MD or ND for a few blood work requisition forms just for the vitamin D test. This way, you could test your levels repeatedly after being stable on one dose for about two weeks and then adjust. Um, you'll find the video on, vid uh, on vitamin D optimization on our YouTube channel. Just enter Pure Lab Vitamins into the YouTube search bar and all our videos will pop right up. As always, I hope this is of help to you. Stay strong, stay cool, stay above 75 nanomoles. See you next time.